Making a realistic glass in After Effects is so simple if you know the right technique. In today's video, we will learn how to create a realistic glass effect in After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. We are in After Effects and I have already imported a random video into my timeline for convenience. First, I lock this layer, then select the Rectangle tool and create a rectangle in this composition. Next, I align it to the center and rename this layer as Main. Then, I type round in the search bar to access the roundness properties of this shape and slightly increase the roundness. After that, I duplicate the layer, place the main two layer below the original layer and hide the main two layer. Now select the main layer, go to Layer Styles and choose Bevel and Emboss. After adding this effect, go to Advanced Blending and change the fill opacity to 0%. Then go back to Bevel and Emboss and change the size to 3% so the corners get slightly highlighted. Next, change the shadow mode from Multiply to Normal. After that, I add an adjustment layer and place it between these shape layers. Then, go to the Track Matte option. If you can't find this option, click this icon to enable it. Now, go to the Effects panel, search for the Tint effect and apply it to the Adjustment layer. Change black to white and slightly reduce the tint amount. Next, add another effect called Compound Blur to the Adjustment layer. After applying it, you will start seeing the effect on the glass. The next step is to add a texture image, which you can download from the link in the description below. After importing the image, add it to the composition and hide it. Then, select the adjustment layer and change the blur layer to this texture image. Using this texture, you can see the details forming on the glass. It already looks quite realistic, but we need to refine it further. For example, if I increase the blur amount, you can see how it affects the glass. This value lets you control the overall look and feel of the glass. Another important setting. If you check the Invert Blur option, it will make the glass look thicker, as you can see on the screen. You can also tweak the effect by adjusting this value. Pretty cool, right? Finally, to enhance the look even further, add a CC Light Sweep effect, which gives the glass a more natural feel. Now, let's tweak some settings. Increase the width to around 100%. Lower the light intensity to around 15%. Most importantly, increase the edge thickness to around 4. This makes it look much better. You can also animate the light pin as per your requirement. And that's how you can create a realistic glass effect in After Effects. If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, consider buying me a coffee. Your support makes a big difference and helps me keep creating awesome content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.